Just yeah. taking the lid off another one. This one's in an extremely well, highly populated colony. So um, I'll just look at my notes. I always keep my notes on my iPhone. So let's see what it says about it. I always number the queen. This one is queen number 12. Right, so we're going on to my database. That's a green queen to some as last year. Because it's doing very good, if I want to use it for breeding or split, this would be a good one to use. So with these, that's got three sections. It's got brood box, and these are called supers, where the bees store their honey. So obviously it's got to have two on here. they have um, producing a lot of honey. So we take the lid off, just shake the bees off. We look in the top here. This is the top super. If we'll go and lift this up. And um, yes, the bees are in there. Yeah, they're putting honey in the top super. Half full. As you can see, it's shine. It's not tapped yet. But there's loads of bees on. So that's a good sign. But we've got still got to check them because being a green queen, that's from last year. So a possibility they could swarm. So we'll take this, take the top super off. Quite heavy. Here's the next one. So this one we'll just take one, we'll take one of these frames there just to have a quick inspection to see how fast progressed. Heavy. Yeah, this this is nearly ready to extract. That's half capped. You can see why by the white wax on top of the honeycomb. Yeah, this one it won't be long and I'll, it'll be ready next week, I should think. I mean draw the honey off. So we'll see how heavy it is. Well I can it. Yeah, quite heavy. So this is a queen excluder. Stop the queen getting in and laying eggs into the super, so we take this off. We always get the out in case the queen is on the excluder. Wax on there. A bit of smoke, they're a bit lively today. Okay, we'll just smoke them down a little bit, not, not too much. We'll take the first frame off, see how much this stores is. So we'll take draw up slowly, the first one. We'll have a look. So what we see here, obviously this is capped honey. It's obviously uncapped honey, and then in these little yellow cells, we can see pollen, yellow pollen. And it's orange, blue. And we turn upside down. And here we have, this is new honeycomb. You can tell by the lovely pale color. And they're drawing the wax comb up, ready to put some more honey in, I hope. This is for be their, being an end frame, would be their winter stores. The bees look in good condition. A little bit waspish, I call, call it, but they're just they're reasonably calm. Yeah, they look healthy enough. I'll just store this one on the back for now. So we take the first frame out. This one's a bit lighter, so we've got what we got in here. This one's absolutely full of eggs. If you can see, you can see the white specks, like a little comma, in the bottom. Full of eggs. This means the queen's in here. She's laying really well. So it'll be an explosion. We'll be interested to see if we see the queen, but this is laid up as well. Be a cat brood in the middle. That biscuit coloured is where they've sealed up, ready for them to hatch into a, a mature adult. So we'll take another frame off. So what we got? We got this. This one is absolutely amazing. This biscuit coloured cat brood be hatched next week hundreds and we'll turn it over here it is again amazing we haven't seen the queen that's not always a guarantee you do see the queen this one she's a, being green it's quite easy to see she's quite a big queen we'll pop that back in next one yep eggs galore so we have to keep an eye on because sometimes they, this is a or the chance they'll um, want to swarm. But the little can you see the little white specks? If you want, if the sun, if you get a bit of sun onto it behind, and you'll see loads of eggs, tiny little dots in the bottom. If we go along a bit, you'll find some eggs which are hatched. Back in again, gently squash it back together. Next frame lift up gently so what we got here we've got another frame it's a bit distorted in the middle you can see a few drones the drones are slightly bigger than the workers this one's got um a lot it's not smoke near it's got several hatched we've got a few more in here you look for queen cells as well was thought that was one but it's not no it's nothing yet a lot of drones is that a queen cell in the middle no next one you see 
So if we look into these, you'll see white larvae in the cells. That means they're, they've hatched. These have hatched more than a week ago. But if you can just sit next to the yellow pollen, let's turn it over. Very highly populated colony, this one is. Can't see the queen, but there's loads of bees, loads of brood, capped and uncapped. Put this one back in, next one up. More bees, bees everywhere. There's yellow pollen, there's no queen cells as yet, or uncapped ones. We haven't seen the queen. I'm convinced she's here because of the egg laying. Yeah, there's eggs everywhere, no queen cells, which I'm pleased about at the moment. Take the next out. This one's stuck, but what we've got in here, we've got another suppose, loads of yellow pollen. Can't see the queen. A bit of drone brood, drone brood slightly bigger than uh, worker brood because that's the male one. Oh, is the queen up the top there in the middle? She's gone to the other side there. She's coming through now. That's the queen there. She's a green queen, which means from last year. She is the one that lays all the eggs. It's nice to find a queen, it's quite satisfying. But she's here, she's checking check, check and ready for the lane. She'll, she'll, she'll off to go around the other side now. We'll be, put it back because we won't bother any more on this one. We've, I've got two more frames. I could check, but I won't. But this one's doing well. So we'll squeeze, squeeze them all up again. This time of year, we inspect them at least seven to ten days. The main reason is swarm control. Now this colony is, obviously it's a, a good strong colony, it's been two years old. I've ticked the box that's going to use it for breeding and I've also ticked the box that's got, a, the queen has had its wing clipped. What that does is, as soon as they want to swarm, the queen flies off and falls to the ground. So all the rest of them bees, sometimes the queen climbs back in, but all the work, work is going there, so it gives you an extra few days. You've got seven to ten days, but ten days if the queen's clipped. I tend to clip all my queens after one year. I don't clip, clip them the first year, I clip, clip them the second year. So um, this, is what, this is one of my better ones. It's got two supers on it. In fact, next week they'll have a third one. So this will have honey extracted, I should think. Probably the first super will be extracted next week. That's nearly fine, I'm not too worried. It hasn't got oil seed rape honey in there, so it won't go solid. One thing to bear in mind. So we'll have a little, we'll put the queen excluder back on. A bit of wax on it, but um, that's okay, we'll put that on, like that, just check a square. Now this is the one that's nearly full, it's got, it's got another week enough before we see here at the ends, there's quite a bit of em empty cells. And if you notice on these cells, they're slightly bigger than normal, because I've used drone foundation, wax foundation, instead of ordinary worker foundation, and the drone cells are slightly bigger, and the idea is that the honey is easier to extract from a bigger cell, especially if it's all seed rate because it's a bit prone to setting. But this year I haven't had a problem with it because we haven't really had any cold weather. So we've checked one of these and that's all right. It's getting heavy now. It's, um, it's probably next week. So as you can see, the sound of my voice is getting heavy. So I, it really could do with another super on top. I've got, I've got some more. I might put one on later on today. So what's the maximum amount of supers that you have? I, I don't know. I've, I've quite often had three. I know people have four, four and five. D depends, you know, depends on the build up of honey. It's lovely to think they'll all have it, but some, some like the one we just had had one and this one's got, this one's got two, but this one will definitely have three on by next week. If I draw, if I do um, extract the honey there, I'll probably just leave it to two. But then again, you don't want overcrowding. And this is getting a really overcrowded colony. So putting another super on gives them more space and hopefully the desire to swarm is reduced. So we'll put the lid back on. Just leave a tiny gap in the top there, just a bit of ventilation, because they, they will get hot in this, this weather. So this one, we've got the Queen's number 12, so it's numbered. So if I, if I move the queen, I, that goes with the queen. If she dies, then that's put back in my box. And when I have a new queen, that takes over that number. Then the supers are numbered. These ones are 86 and 71. So well, after I've extracted, the same super goes on to the, the original brew box. If there is a problem with disease, whatever, that's just a little bit of a preventive housekeeping, as you might say. 
So this is a good colony. And the rest of the day, I'll be taking, I will go right, well, the rest of the afternoon, I'll go through them all. Oh, I must have 14 hives here. And I've got at least 10 down the other end of the farm and another eight or nine in Bolsham. But I think I've probably got more than 14 here. That's a job to say, because all the boxers, some of them are, might call them swarm catching. And uh, I've caught several swarms in empty hives this year. Always a bit of a bonus and always pleasing to see. And um, looking down here, the bees fly out that way ahead of us. And there's got quite a bit of, because of the damn dry weather, the borage is okay, but it, I've known it to be a lot better. But the bees obviously been foraging on it and uh, it goes for, a, well, goes for halfway around the field. That's, um, once the borage has died down, there's other plants, wildflowers, which will um, flower in its place.